steps on shorty wop You can take two steps toward Pause, don't step on my new air chores I see you like the model walk dance on that I don't tap, I can do the kid and play on that School crab and the wop and the baseball bat New edition, don't eat fresh with the cabbage patch Patch on my jacket, mean the leader of the pack Pack a lunch, snack, chips, ham sandwich of the bunch Bunch of y'all in the back, twist my cap to the back Back to the back of the class for you crabs Shrimps, lobsters, sharks, crawfish Mean fastball, you can't get a hit off us Outfield niggas wanna run up on us Flush mounds, you might wanna be more cautious We rockin', we toss em, toss em, floss em Awesome, we rockin', we toss em, floss em a little bit in the flask, a little bit in the cup Spill a little on the counter when I'm filling it up The drill, drill procedures, just follow, chill Will you get me a cup from there, but spare me the Tupperware Hardly giving toast with that plastic shit I sit in the chair, the crib, a bizzle like the chisel while you cut in my head my niggas puffin' and shit We a team, ain't no day been roughin' in here We all down But ain't nobody duckin' in here The downtown dog catch everybody like Mike Hangin' like a comma Or Mr. Cooper Super califragilistic Listen to Southern play I wish they graduated from district 227 rappin' the South Subs Don't nobody show it enough love It fits like a glove And leave it alone Can't get the keys to the crib Walkin' at But uh, a few months ago, Chisholm contacted the New Work magazine writer Ryan Cohen concerning an article he had written about celebrity Kane Nevea. Uh, and luckily, Mr. Cohen has graciously accepted his invitation to come and speak here tonight on Kane and celebrity culture. So if everybody can please give a warm welcome to Mr. Ryan Cohen. Thank you, Bradley. I'd like to thank the entire School of Art um, for having me here tonight and flying me in from New York. Um, especially Mr. Joe Arredondo for the dorm food at lunch today. It was quaint. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, I'll get started. Filthy, flashy, fabulous, Cain Nevea. At age 25, he was virtually an unknown child star burnout. But in the past three years, the legend of Cain Nevea has grown to encompass an American dream that is lusted after all who were raised on Lucky Charms, MTV, and the aspiration to make it big. Now, at 28 years old, he has shown us the humanity of stardom, and he begs us to question our lives and ourselves. One of American culture's greatest pastimes is following their favorite and most hated celebrities' lives play out in the gossip columns, celebrity TV news, and now PerezHilton.com. <laughs> It is hard to turn around without being immersed in celebrity culture. And we, the people, love it. Every twist and turn of a celebrity's life is flashed before our eyes. The good and the bad are thrust before us. As we lock in on these events, we are thrown into a catatonic state of shock, ecstasy, and want. We want to be like these people, yet we love to see them fall to the bottom of the barrel, climb back up, and then repeat the process. 
<laughs> this addiction feeds the pockets of mega million dollar magazine conglomerates such as Us Weekly or You Weekly. And the paparazzi is given huge sums of cash, turning all of this into just a vicious cycle. Why do we love to watch the crash just as much as if not more than the rise? Is celebrity culture just vapid entertainment? Or is there something more important going on here? King Nevaeh is a celebrity with a sordid and colorful background. He is young, rich, and famous, but also hated. He lives a socially unacceptable lifestyle and does horrible things all while being paid for it. He appears in magazines and is adored one week and hated the next. Just like his female counterparts, Lindsay Lohan and Paris Hilton, he is a star that is loved and hated, revered, and repellent. Cain is the perfect specimen for, our dissect, for us to dissect in our investigation of fame. To properly understand Cain Nevea and those like him, we must delve into his history and take a look at what makes him tick. Cain Nevea's story is like that of any celebrity you look at and think, how did they get to the top? Even if they seem random, it was all a series of precisely executed events that led him to become the media gem he is today. One day, this executed luck gave him the opportunity to pose in a vodka advertisement, which consisted of a series of highly stylized photographs of Nevaeh participating in the type of debauchery he has now become famous for, all wearing a red, white, and blue dress. This series of photographs would be the platform for Kane's validation as a star. The media of photography and video, as well as the internet, are important factors to Kane's success. The bombardment of outrageous photographs of Kane Nevea on the public seems to be what formulated Kane's fame. Although he serves as a spokesperson advertising products, his true stardom resides within him, as he acts as a bad boy star who parties nonstop with no consequences except ridicule and mental breakdown. In the months that followed Kane's rise to the spotlight, elaborately staged photographs of him engaged in a sex tape were released, serving to boost his fame. These were accompanied by a video, which was swiftly removed from YouTube. This had many advantageous effects for Kane's career, but the outcome on his personal morale and well-being seemed to play out in a devastating contrast. Shortly after the sex tape's arrival on the internet and the newsstand, another release of clearly fabricated photographs of Nevea placing a last call during a failed suicide attempt shows Kane to be human and spoiled by the things that we all lust after. Fame and fortune.